Hey guys, this is AZ Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is going over the fan speeds on a PSE blower motor that's 240 volts single phase. All right, so a blower motor like this could come out of a packaged air conditioning and heating system, or it could come out of an air handler. All right, uh, most furnaces are actually 120 volts, and I have a, another video on that as well, checking the fan speeds and troubleshooting that. But uh, this video is just basically for um, figuring out the wiring speeds on this when there is no schematic uh, or wiring diagram. All right, so how you do that is with your resistance values. All right, so you make sure you turn the power off first, and then you're going to turn your multimeter on to resistance. All right, you're going to find um, and, and look for which one of these wires uh, is attached to the brown slash white wire here. All right, so this one here, the brown slash white wire. I'm going to go ahead and put this alligator clip on. We're going to read a resistance values between each of these wires. All right, so we read a resistance value here, 14 ohms. 17 ohms, 10 ohms, all right? You shouldn't get any resistance, all right, with your common wire. So we see we have like 0.4, that's just due to our connections, you know, and how tight we are with these alligator clips and stuff. Um, see, we're now we're going down 0.3, all right? Uh, but basically this one is powered with a 120 volt leg, all right? straight from maybe the contactor, okay? Uh, this one right here is your common, all right? These are gonna be your fan speeds. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to read resistance from our common, which in this case is the yellow, all right, over to each of our speeds. All right, typically the blower motor speeds, typically red is the lowest, blue is the medium, and black is the highest. But we can confirm that once again with our resistance readings our lowest fan speed, okay, being the red, is going to be our highest uh, resistance value. So in this case, you see it's 17.4 ohms of resistance. Our blue wire is our medium speed, right, and that should be a little less resistance, and that is 14.2 ohms of resistance. Now our black wire is our highest fan speed, all right, and that one will be our least amount of resistance. All right, and that reads 10 ohms of resistance. By the way, when you're putting your probes in, um, you can actually push, push the plastic back and go between the plastic and the metal. That's going to be your best, uh, best way to read them. If you put your probe in to the inside, in the, in the side right here, make sure that you are not um, pushing the terminal away from itself so that when you push it onto the male speed, it ends up being loose. Make sure that those connections are always tight, and if you do accidentally open them up a little bit, you can squeeze them down a little bit, but you can't play with them too much because they will crack. All right, so the best, best case scenario is you can put the probes actually in the back right there. All right, but anyway, so we just confirmed which is the blower's fan speeds here. This, this one right here, the red, that is our highest resistance, so it's the lowest speed. Blue. All right, that is the medium resistance, that's the medium fan speed. Black, that is the uh, lowest resistance and that has the highest fan speed. So that's how you do it. All right, so for cooling, usually you're going on your highest fan speed. And then for heating, typically you are on your medium or your lower fan speeds. All right, but you're, for heating, it's very important that you check to make sure for, say, gas furnaces, that you only have a 50 degree temp difference between the return and supply temps. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.